Aloha! Welcome to Creative Mondays. I was calling this Creative Card Making Mondays, but really it's at this point it's just about getting some projects done with you guys. And for me, it's um, because I move, I've moved and everything. I am, you know, trying to put together projects and um, do them with y'all. Um, so bear with me in the next couple weeks. I've got to get my projects built up again. I haven't felt very creative just because I'm so exhausted from moving. Um, so today we are going to make this cute little uh, milk carton. And this is a pretty big milk carton. This milk carton is um, almost like the size of a pint-sized milk carton, I believe. And I'll give you the measurements here. Um, so it is three inches tall by two and a quarter inches or two and a half inches wide. That's how big this milk carton is. And it's really, really easy to make. And it's really fun because you can fill it with all kinds of stuff. Um, this is the inside. See, very deep. Look at that. So. Um, just a, a little sample. Look, I got one glue. I could fit all kinds of stuff in here. This is just great for giving like little treats and stuff, um, you know, or thank yous. This one's, I have called it my thank you. Again, this is ten and a half inches by seven and a half inches. Four pieces of designer series paper that measures two and a quarter inches by two and three quarters inches and two pieces of designer series paper that measures two and a quarter inches by one and a quarter inch. The other things we're gonna need is we're gonna need a scrap piece of, um, of um, pineapple punch um, card stock. And I just got, here we go. And we're gonna need a scrap piece of black and then we're going to need a scrap piece of Whisper White, which you know, of course, um, I'm here it is. Here's my scrap piece of Whisper White. A scrap piece of Whisper White. And then a scrap piece of gold metallic paper. Right here. So those are the things we're going to need and we're going to need our stamp sets, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to put together our milk carton. And we're going to go ahead and cut this at ten and a half inches right here. And at seven and a half inches. Yeah, that one seemed a little bit short. I knew it was. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get out my um, scoreboard again and we're going to go ahead and score this. I will be posting this on my YouTube channel, um, edit it, and I'll take out all these mistakes So, <laughs> just so that you know that. Okay, again, on the landscape side. Well, I'm sorry, on the portrait side, we're going to score at a half inch, two inches, and five inches. And then on the landscape side, we're going to score at two and a half inches, five inches, seven and a half inches and 10 inches. There we go. That looks way better. So go ahead and put away our um, scoring board. And let's get down to business. Again, this is going to be the top, so I'm going to mount and fold this just like that. Right? It's going to go in the opposite direction that I'm folding everything else. There we go. This one just like that. Go ahead and do our side tab. All right, there. 
there we go. So, should be just like that. Now, before I do anything else, before I do any cutting or anything, I'm going to go ahead and apply my designer series paper. I just think it will make it much easier if I do it that way. And you can do it all any way you want. You can um, apply it after you've made your box. I just like to do it um, before. Ah, I do it both ways, let's be honest. Depends on if I remember. So I'm going to go ahead and get some glue on here. And this is just um, some glue that I picked up at um, on Amazon. Um, and it's, it works for where I live. Um, I know that um, Stampin' Up! does carry um, glue, multi-purpose Tombow glue, and it's great glue. It's just a little too thick for where I live because of my humidity level here, so. There we go. I love this project. It's so beautiful. And I love the hexagon honeycomb kind of shapes that are, is going on with this project. The designer series paper. And with the dies that we'll be using. So, um, and there's just two of these, and then we do have to remember that we're doing opposite. So, this, all right. So, we're going to put it on this square and this square. If you'd like any of the project, the um, products that you've seen here today, um, go to my website, alohapapergems.com, and click on Shop Now, and you'll be able to find it there. I'll also be posting um, the um, inspiration sheet um, for this project on that website. Um, give me till tomorrow to do that because I have a really busy afternoon. And I'll also edit this video and post it on my YouTube channel. And there will be a link on the website to that. Okay, so now that that's all done and I've got that taken care of, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do some cutting. Um, so I'm going to take my paper snips and if I could find my other scissors, I'd be using them because they're longer than the paper snips. But um, again, you know, I'm still a little bit in boxes, so... The first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut off this tab right here. Okay. And then we're going to miter that side. And we're going to miter the top right here. Okay. Then we're just going to cut along these score lines all the way up to that bottom score line on all these tabs. Okay. And then what I like to do is on the inside tabs to the box, I like to just trim those back a little bit. And I just see that I'm not all the way up to the score line. There we go. So only on the inside tabs. And how can I tell which are the, going to be the inside tabs? This is going to be the back of my box, right? And this is going to be the front of my box. So the inside tabs are the opposite. So it's going to be these two. And I'm just going to trim down just a little bit. Not much. Just like maybe a quarter inch. There we go. Just like that. Get rid of my garbage. I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on this tab right here. And we're going to fold this 
over. We're just going to put this like that and we're going to fold this over just like this. And we're just going to let our glue set up a little bit. Give it a minute. Okay. Now some people, what they do with this box is they measure in the middle here and put the, the tick, um, put a line, a triangle line to get a good fold. But you'll find that you don't really need to do that. You can just squeeze in and that it will do it itself. So I'm going to go ahead now that we're done um, with that glue. And I'm just going to put a little glue on this inside tab just like that. Close this. All right, where's the back of my box is going to be? God, it's glued so well I can't even find the, um, the... Okay, so that's the back. The back is where the line is. So I want my, I want my back tab to go in first because that's the tab that... Because um, you want... You don't want the tab... Um, you want a clean front. A clean fold over so that all you're seeing is the tab just like that yeah nice clean front and that your edges are in the back of your box okay just put a little bit of glue just like that and get it all in there just like that and then I'm going to take my glue bottle and just rub the inside just to make sure everything's adhered real nice now remember I was telling you that you don't really need to do that um, the folds because see how nicely that folds up all by itself you can get that really nicely done now that is our box you can glue this box and how you do that is you take these two outside tabs and you put glue right here I am going to use a clip so that I can reopen it and I've got a mini paper clip that I'm just going to put on the top of it all right just like this. There's my mini paper clip. Let me find the back of my box. Okay, this is going to be the front of my box. Okay, we're going to set this aside now because now we're going to do some stamping and some die cutting. So I got three different stamps we're going to use and we're going to get all our stamping done all at once. We're going to do some punching. So I've got a um, one and three eighths um, scallop punch and then a one inch circle punch okay um, the dies we are going to use are this honeybee die and this honeybee die and this honeybee die is going to be done on a black um, scrap piece of paper we've got our hexagon hexagon you know kind of um, uh, uh, what is it called honeycomb shapes right here that are going to be cut out in gold and then our beehive so let's work on our beehive first and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my stars on and this is the saddle brown that is in the new um, catalog. I'm going to take my scrap piece of, um, this is um, pineapple punch. And I believe this is the 2018-2019 color lineup is Pineapple Punch. I really like the colors in there. I'm going to get my beehive nice and stamped up real good. Now I'm using stars on, so I will tell you that you want to make sure that you clean your um, stamp right after um, you use it. Because you don't want, um, it's a permanent, it's a solvent ink. Had, um, so it's not water soluble um, so you want to make sure that you um, clean it right away oh isn't that pretty so I have the um, stars on um, cleaner and all I'm going to do is just rub it on my pad just like this okay that's all you got to do and then I go back over my pad or not my well my ink my stamp and I'm gonna go ahead and take my chamois for right now and rub that off and that stars on is really good because it conditions your um, stamp pad as well so that's good 
Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stamp my B. And again, that is going to be a scrap piece of yellow paper. And I am going to stamp it with Memento ink, the black Memento ink. Get my B all blacked up like that. And then go ahead and get him stamped. Uh, isn't he pretty? Such a pretty B. Ahead and clean off my stamp real quick. Take my black memento ink again and take my scrap piece of um, whisper white and I'm going to go ahead and stamp my greeting on my whisper white. There you go. So I put my um, all my dies on this beautiful, um, beautiful <laughs> this magnetic sheet so that I don't lose them when I'm doing the and so that I'm not going through the die dies as I'm doing my videos. So okay, and now I've got my scrap piece of gold. So for my um, sentiment, I'm just going to take my circle punch and I am going to punch out. My sentiment and then I forgot to tell you that we're also going to use the one and one eighth inch um, scallop um, punch and we're going to go ahead and punch out a piece of scrap yellow for that go ahead and set that punch aside and then on a piece of scrap black, we are going to take that one and three eighths inch, inch scallop punch and we're going to punch out another, oh, can I get that? Ooh, I love it when I can do, uh, when I can save When I can get every piece of paper. Yeah, I don't like that. All right. There we go. We're going to save that um, because we're also going to go ahead and do some die cutting. So these are going to be layered just like this. I love it. Let's go ahead and get out our die cutting machine and I'm just going to do this off camera. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up my, i um, going to put this on and line up my beehive right here and get that all cut. Just create my sandwich and put it through my die cutting machine. <clears throat> Perfect. It's a little bit off. But it works out. I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Actually, I'm going to line up my, my B here. So, and if you don't, if you're worried about your, um, your dies moving, cause like this B is really, um, you got to get it lined up perfectly. Even with the, um, the magnetic plate, your dies can move around. So what you can do, and what I'm going to do is take a piece of washi tape and just put it on the die so that, um, I can, um, cause my beehive moved. I don't want this to move. And I'm just going to put it on my die so that it doesn't move just like that. Okay. Put that through my die cutting machine and I'm going to make room for my other bee. Yep. We can do both at one time. Okay. 
put that through my die cutting machine just like that. Now we're just putting the um, honeycomb on the gold paper, metallic paper, and that through the machine as well. So I really want to figure out something to do with the. Uh, um, these little pieces that come out of that honeycomb. So if you look at this, isn't that cool? Let's put that back on there. So I'm just gonna, I don't have my pick tool with me again. So isn't, aren't these cool? And what's really, they, they just all come out. So I'm saving all these pieces so that I can um, do something with them. And I don't know what I'm going to do with them. They, I think they would make really cool shingles, you know, or maybe just like on a card. So you might see my next card, um, creative card lesson with these little, little hexagon shapes on them. And we're definitely going to use them in on this um, project as well. So let me just slip those off my plates aside now that we've got everything cut out got my little bee it just doesn't this bee come out so nicely put all my stuff back on here so that I don't lose them as I have a habit of doing that get this little bee out and you just it's, this is a really delicate die so you just want to be really careful when you um, And if, if it doesn't go through your, um, if you have trouble with it, just run it through your, your uh, cutter a couple of times and that will help you out with it. Now, in a perfect world, I would have my little foam pad, which I do, and my brush. Yay! I am more organized than what I thought. So my take a pick, your pick tool actually has a specialty brush on the end of it that you can purchase. And you get this little foam with it. And so what you do is you run this, your die or your, um, your thingy through it. And of course, I'm not having any luck, but in a perfect world that would all work out, but I'm in a hurry and I don't want to take up all you guys' time. I should have ran this through the die cutting machine a couple times and then it would have worked out better. So, but the, again, this is like a really fragile die. Um, very intricate, I should say, not fragile. Um, just a very intricate die, um, so. And it takes a little time just to get these little pieces out. See, if I had put this through the machine twice, um, ran it through twice, it would have um, been so much better. So I just, again, pushing out all the little details of the die get my little honeybee and here we go isn't he pretty look can you see him here pretty cool huh okay let's put our box together it's a real simple um box to make and the project's actually pretty simple so here's the front of my box make sure yep that's the front I'm going to go ahead and glue my honey 
my beehive on. I'm just going to put them down here. Just like that. We're going to take our little bee. And it's, I know it's kind of a shame to cover him up, but I really like that lacy effect that this bee has. And you need something on the back of him. And you want the um, black to show through. So and I'm just going to glue the body down. Just like this. And get them as lined up as possible. There we go. Now we've got those nice. There we go. It's okay if you get a little bit of glue. This glue dries clear. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on my um, my greeting, and I'm just going to layer these. Uh, with glue. I'm not going to put a dimensional on the sentiment because it's going to go underneath. There we go. There we go. So, and then I'm going to get my dimensionals out. one of these and I'm going to put it on the back of this. I just need one. The next thing I'm going to do is before I get that dimensional I'm going to place my honeycomb right here. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on just this end of it um, because this is the end that's going to be onto the, um, the beehive. Okay. You don't need too much. You also are going to be putting down your um, greeting over the top of it, which will help hold it as well. And your honeybee is going to be on it. I'm going to put my greeting right in the middle here, just like this. Then um, I'm going to take my bee. And he's going to go white right up here, so I'm going to take another dimensional, put it on the back of him, just like this, peel that off. And we're going to put him right here. Now, the really cool thing is we're going to take one of our little, our little um, uh, hexagons and we're going to take a mini dimensional and we're going to put it right here on the back. So cool, our dimensionals are hexagons too. <laughs> And then we're gonna pop up. We're gonna pop this up in one of the, the dimensional air, um, one of the honeycombs. Just like that. We could put another one over here if we wanted to, but, and that's our project today. That's it. Pretty simple, huh? Aren't they beautiful? I love this. I love this curtain. So this is the one we made today. And this is the one that, um, I made, um, yesterday. Pretty cool, huh? And I love the little honeybee. I do. I love the little, the way it flies. So there you go. That is our project today for Creative Mondays. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, if you are interested in any of the products that you've seen here today, please go to my website, alohapapergems.com. 
and click on shop now. I will be posting the directions for this as well as the picture on my website at alohapapergems.com. So if you want all the measurements and directions, please go there. I'll be editing this film and also posting it on my YouTube channel. Um, if you are interested in becoming um, a part of my team, again, go to my website and click on join now and there's details there or contact me. You can email me or message me through Facebook. Um, thank you for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful, blessed Monday. Aloha.